Welcome to All Pro Football Data. My name is Jim Coburn, and today's episode, I'm talking about David White Jr., wide receiver out of Western Carolina, based on his production, athleticism, and other statistical factors. Uh, so we're going to take a look at all of his data. This was a comment that I received in one of my videos on Jalen Coker. He wanted me to do a David White uh, profile vid. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So starting with his offensive market share production, uh, he had a 25 percentile uh, receiving market share score, 51 percentile total offensive market share, and 42.55 percentile touchdown market share. Uh, those numbers are not that great, especially for his level of competition. Uh, and it's a little concerning, uh, especially considering he's from Western Carolina. Now, when you get to his efficiency scores, uh, he was a little bit better here. Uh, he had an 80 percentile touchdown percentage and a slightly above average yards per reception score, which are decent but not exactly elite and not exactly where you would want his numbers to be considering where he's playing in Western Carolina. Uh, when you move on to his athleticism traits, uh, he had 20 percentile in terms of explosiveness, 16 percentile in terms of speed, and 17.5 percentile in terms of flexibility for his size. Those numbers are not anywhere near where you want them to be as a prospect and then when you get to his adjusted production scores low end area and everything age is not bad 56 percentile but his msa rating is 4.85 and his past score is 26.84 out of 100 so not very productive when you add in his level of competition issues with that production not a lot of success in there and then of course when you get to his uh Pro comparisons, uh, these are all the wide receivers that tested similar to David White Jr. based on his production traits and his athleticism traits. Not a lot of starters in here, not a lot of successful outcomes for him. Uh, so in other words, he would very much have to be a giant outlier if he would actually were to become like a backup. Uh, so those are kind of the main concerns with him uh, data-wise. Now, overall outlook, I would say David White Jr. profiles as a backup to reserve long term. Um, his production for his level of competition is one issue. However, his athleticism is another issue entirely. So if you're not going to be productive, you at least need to have some athleticism traits to kind of cover that issue. And he doesn't quite have those issues, you know, those uh, traits. So it's just one thing after another for him. So. I understand he might be a great route runner on film. There might be some things that you really like about him from that kind of perspective. But based on his overall data profile, I would say it's safe to say that he's more likely going to be a backup to reserve long term in the NFL and probably might even not even play in the NFL. He may end up somewhere else like the CFL or those types of places long term. So with all this stuff out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check out these videos right here if you haven't already. Uh, and uh, I will... Uh, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash jcoburn. Also check out my ex, formerly known as Twitter account, at Gymmetrics. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.